Hello traders, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of Weekly Crypto Update, where we discuss what happened in the past week and try to forecast what is likely going to happen in the next week. Today is 20th of May here at Forex Academy and my name is Nikola Lazic. As you can see, today uh, cryptocurrency market is mo uh, in green um, with approximately 3 to 4% increase with a few exceptions. Um, for example, Tron has gained 12%. Um, Ontology 10%, uh, Bytum 21%, and Archain 12%. Everything else is pretty much the same. We have some red as well, but for the most part, cryptocurrency market is in, uh, increasing in uh, evaluation. Uh, while we are on that subject, let's uh, check um, the market cap, uh, cap uh, graph uh, to see uh, how the things are playing out. Let's zoom into seven days. Okay, so this is Monday here. Uh, here, as you can see, um, cryptocurrency market cap was around 400 billion, 407 billion at the start of the week um, and uh, this was the highest point here uh, uh, 412.9 billion dollars and since then uh, the evaluation of cryptocurrency market has been decreasing and this was the lowest point here on Friday uh, which was around uh, 361.1 billion dollars uh, uh, from which the uh, evaluation of uh, cryptocurrency market cap was um, on a st st steadily increasing to where it's now um, to about 390.6 billion dollars. Now uh, let's check the price of Bitcoin. This is my Bitcoin daily chart. Uh, you can see how I have labeled it. This is my uh, uptrend base uh, support baseline. Um, this is my Fibonacci retracement from this point here to this low here. And we can see that the price is currently interacting with this Fibonacci level of 0 0.382. And uh, it's slightly above it. Uh, however, I don't believe uh, that the daily candle will close above, but we will see how it plays out. Um, on Monday, uh, we had this um, pin bar doji, which indicated more buying pressure than the selling pressure, as you can see from the length of these wicks. And... Um, this would be a good uh, indicator that the price is going to continue uh, to the upside. But, however, as you can see on the next day, the price has been decreasing and fell below this Fibonacci level here. So, we're now just going to zoom into an hourly chart. So, as you can see, this is Monday here. This was the opening candle. And from the Monday's open till now, the price of Bitcoin has decreased by 1.94%. Now, this um, was the lowest point here on Friday, which was around 7,000... Uh, 7, um, 950 53 dollars per bitcoin and since friday the price of bitcoin has increased by 7.22 percent um, now we are seeing the interaction with the fibonacci level and as you can see from these uh, wicks that are starting to form 
the price is entering um, the seller's territory and that's why I think the price isn't going to continue uh, going up but let's uh, look at our detailed analysis with the forecast of the upcoming week to see what is likely going to happen next okay so these are my labelings I'm just going to zoom out a bit so you can see the complete correction uh, I'm going to switch to four hour chart so this was a one two three four five impulse wave after which a long correction appeared and if my labeling is correct uh, this was a complex uh, correction um, I've used um, Elliott wave principles to label uh, this correction as you can see this was in uh, one two three four five impulse wave after which a correction a complex correction uh, happened and uh, we are just going to inspect this a bit more but I've labeled this as ABC then we had this upward channel which uh, can be interpreted as jaws of wealth and this was an uh, ABCDE move and because E uh, ended on the upper resistance line uh, the price uh, was going to go lower so then we had this ABC and now we are seeing this impulse wave here which is if I zoom to an hourly chart seen more correctly so this is one two three four five and after a five wave impulse there is a correction coming now I've labeled this correction as um, a complex correction um, which I think is going to end up like this so this uh, ABC correction that I'm expecting to to happen would be a, a final uh, wave uh, Z uh, which would end somewhere uh, here on these levels um, this is a 0 0.36 Fibonacci retracement level and this would be a um, wedge apex uh, where uh, that ends on uh, this uh, uptrend support line and also I've uh, inserted this horizontal line uh, as um, a support line from a prior from a prior range so I would expect the price to go somewhere here in these levels but we will see what happens this is just a projection and no way a buy or sell signal <clears throat> so one thing I want to point out is this uh, the price of Bitcoin uh, broke out of, out of this uh, falling wedge so this is a first impulse wave from a bigger count and this would be a second wave that retraces back now after these uh, the second wave is completed I would expect the price to continue to go higher let me just uh, show you my waves um, so this would be a potential scenario that I'm uh, looking out for and now uh, I will leave this but I will hide it just to have a clearer picture so this is these are some of the significant levels that you should be watching in the following week um, I believe that this could be labeled differently but um, it doesn't fit my analysis so I've 
labeled that uh, in a different way. This could be an A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. But as you can see, uh, the price broke out from this uh, falling wedge on a D wave. Now, this can happen. However, I don't believe that this is a correct count, but uh, this could be an alternative count. However, uh, even if this is incorrect, my uh, wave E would still end up somewhere, uh, somewhere on these levels on which I have projected this ABC correction and the end of this, this uh, complex correction. Now let's look at the Ethereum chart. So this is my Ethereum uh, chart. Uh, you can see how I labeled it. Um, this is um, a Fibonacci retracement from this high here at uh, $980 to this low here at $361 per Ethereum and now as you can see the price of Ethereum um, went to retest um, this uh, 0.5 Fibonacci level and found support here which propelled the price in an upward trajectory. Now like in the case of Bitcoin we had this pin bar doji here on Monday and uh, again the buyers were stronger so i would expect the price i was expecting the price to go um, back from here and that we are we were going to see um, only this abc correction where, which i'm going to show you later uh, as the correction and then the price would go back further but that didn't happen uh, the price fell to these levels here and found support so now the price is in an upward movement now again we saw this um, a lot of buying pressure here um, which was on Wednesday um, no sorry uh, yeah Wednesday and then uh, the price went back to these levels um, I'm going to zoom into an hourly chart to measure percentage decrease um, this was Monday here so from the opening of the Monday this is this doji here the price of Ethereum decreased by 0 0.8688% um, but the price went further below as you can see this is the lowest point here so before this uh, movement to the upside we had a decrease of 9.52 um, percent this uh, was on Friday so from Friday till now the price of Ethereum has increased by 9.57 percent which is a very good sign actually now we are going to uh, see our uh, labelings for our forecast. So this is what I have labeled. It is very similar to to the case to the Bitcoin's uh, chart. A very very complex correction, but I think it's going to end up like this. Um, we had this uh, ABC move down and then an impulse wave, um, then another ABC down, then we are now currently seeing the end of the last impulse wave. And what happens after the impulse wave? A correction. And then I think um, that this is going to play out like this after this impulse wave is done and it looks like it might be over we are just now seeing the interaction with with these uh, 
what was uh, support now is resistance um, and then we are going to see a correction uh, in a potential zigzag or a flat but this would mean that the price is going to um, get back further to 0 0.5 Fibonacci level which would be uh, a final wave Z from this correction here. Um, again, this is just a projection and it no means serve as buy or sell signal. I might be wrong, but this is what I have labeled and I believe that we are in for another low. Um, let's go and check Ripple. I want to zoom out to show you my labelings. This is my uh, chart. I have labeled these vague trend lines just to know what's going on, but this is definitely a significant uh, level. I will switch it to be more clear. This is confirmed. Um, this is a Fibonacci retracement here from this uh, point here on $1.18 to this, this low point here of $0.43. Now let's zoom uh, in. Um, this is Monday here. And as you can see, like in the case of Ethereum and Bitcoin, this was a pin bar doji with a stronger uh, buying pressure. Uh, however, the price fell further. So knowing the context uh, and um, a general market sentiment, uh, you should evaluate whether or not uh, dojis are in play uh, so not to get fooled by a um, false signal uh, now let's zoom to an hourly chart mm, this was Monday here and from the opening price on Monday till now the price of a ripple has decreased by 3.88%. Now, like in the case of Ethereum and Bitcoin, on Friday we had a week's low. So this was the lowest point here at $0.65 per ripple. And since the price uh, con uh, was in an upward trajectory and is now uh, stopped by this resistance line here I didn't draw it but you can see that this was a strong support and was resistance in the past so now we are going to look at our forecast and now on, on to our forecast this these are my uh, Elliott wave uh, labelings I'm just going to zoom out to a four hour chart so after this uh, impulse wave, um, we had this, uh, this is not, let's zoom into one hour chart um, so you can see it more clearly. Now this was an ABC, and then we had an ABCDE, and because E ended on the up uh, uptrend um, resistance line, um, the price continue in a down move in an ABC zigzag manner and now after that we see that another ABCD correction happened after which the price fell further in an ABC manner then another ABCD and another ABC and another ABCDE and then I'm expecting this to be a final ABC move to the downside which would mean that 
this uh, w x y x z correction is completed and this would also uh, be a if these this is the start of wave one uh, this would be a good retracement um, of the wave two uh, so I'm just going to show you what I mean now let me just first draw my uh, Fibonacci Um, I think that this uh, is a start of a lar uh, larger uh, impulse wave uh, here and that this is a second wave I'm just, to, just going to do this so this would be a good uh, amount of retracement for a, a wave two and we are likely going to see a surge in price um, as wave three starts because the wave three is uh, the longest so we are going to potentially see another uh, after this uh, correction ends uh, another surge in price and that will exceed these uh, prior highs here but also on on other cryptocurrencies now let's go to the litecoin chart now let's go to the litecoin chart no didn't, this is not the one um, my charts are from Bitfinex um, I'm going to zoom out to show you my daily chart because these are some fairly new labelings uh, this is what I have drawn so the price of Litecoin is still in this uh, corrective triangle uh, what I have drawn in the past is this uh, but I've um, now included this new uh, high here because I think that this was um, as you can see a complex correction and that this is also a part of the corrective move which I will um, later show uh, with my Elliott Wave labelings uh, this was Monday here and as you can see the price um, of Litecoin um, went further below but uh, from judging by this uh, long week here there, uh, there was a lot of buying pressure and then on Wednesday we had an interesting uh, interesting case this candle uh, closed as a doji with um, uh, stronger buying pressure than the seller pressure just below this uh, Fibonacci level here which I thought is very interesting because <clears throat> the price um, if you labeled this uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, wrong you would suspect that this is a, a doji on the low and that then the price would go up but uh, as you can see sometimes um, a few pips can make difference between a buy or a sell signal now let's zoom to uh, an hourly chart uh, this uh, you can see the interaction with uh, Fibonacci level and we are seeing live 
that my conclusion was correct. Uh, we are likely going to see um, the price action stopped at these levels and then another corrective move is coming. I mean, this small uh, candle doesn't support my whole case, but it's starting to go in my favor. So let's measure our percentages. Uh, this is Monday here. Uh, so from the start of the week, the price of Litecoin has decreased by 3.49%. And this was not the lowest point. The lowest point was on Friday, like in the case of uh, other cryptocurrencies that we have discussed. And from Friday till this day, the price has been on a steadily, steady increase. But... Um, if you see in the past that also happened, this was an uh, upper channel from which the price broke uh, from the downside and created lower lows. And this is what I'm expecting to uh, continue now. And particularly, uh, this is our um, wedge uh, resistance line. And as you can see, the price interacted with it and was repelled and is now falling below. I'm going to show you my uh, forecast, my projection, so that we can further discuss what is going to happen next. Uh, this was a very complex uh, correction, so I had a lot of, um, a lot of um, trouble uh, labeling this, but I think that I have come to a conclusion on how this had to be labeled. And uh, this is my primary count. I also have alternatives, but for this week, I'm going to show you this. If anything changes, I'm going to update you um, in the meantime. So this was an, uh, an impulse wave after which a correction appeared. Then we had another impulse wave. And this is what I consider to be a whole uh, corrective uh, move. Uh, it was in W X Y X Z. Um, again, I might be wrong. Um, we will see how this plays out. But um, uh, let's inspect uh, it further. Um, this was an A B C move down. Then we had this A B C D E. Then another A B C. And now we are seeing a Five, uh, five wave move to the upside um, and then I'm going to uh, I am expecting um, another ABC correction because this also happened in the past and markets are fractal in nature um, and of course um, as cryptocurrency market is highly correlated I am expecting that uh, every uh, correction for uh, from the major cryptocurrencies that are considered to be a crypto fiat gateway to be well not the same but similar at least so now as you can see the price was repelled by these levels here and this uh, Fibonacci level here and after a, an impulse wave, uh, wave, there is a correction coming. Now, I've uh, uh, labeled this as a potential ABC. This might play out differently, but I'm pretty confident that we are going to see price uh, decrease from these levels. Um, to how low, I don't know, but I am expecting the uh, final wave C to be lower than this uh, wave C here, which is on 129.1 uh, dollar per Litecoin. So maybe somewhere here at 126.8 dollars per Litecoin. Now again, as I have stated, this is just a projection. And I will be closely monitoring what happens at these levels. 
Another uh, argument that I have to support my case that uh, we are in for another low and we are going to see another low uh, on the major cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies um, is this chart here. Now this is a print screen because I can't uh, label the can label this uh, differently. But as you can see, this is a global chart. This is a cryptocurrency market capitalization. So um, as you can see, I have drawn this uh, support line here, which is around uh, $333 billion, uh, so, which was a prior support, which holds it pretty strong. And then when this, uh, judging by this momentum, you see that this support area is fairly strong. Now, because the price is uh, likely uh, going to continue to, um, to the upside, I would expect the evaluation to drop to these levels again for a retest of support. And if support is there, um, then the price would continue to go upwards so from from uh, I think 390 yeah 391 uh, billion dollar evaluation to 333 would correspond ideally with my uh, chartings from four uh, major cryptocurrencies um, meaning that uh, lows I expect uh, there uh, corresponds perfectly with uh, this um, this chart here. Well, this is uh, all for today's episode. See you next week and happy trading. Cheers.